Welcome to Faith and Fitness with Angela. I'm so glad you could make it to work out with me with another senior tune-up. I also have Pilates Challenge and Cycle Fitness. I just did the Cycle Fitness and I'll be uploading that too. I'll be editing both of these, Lord willing, today or tomorrow. So anyway, I'm so glad you're here with me. Our scripture today is going to be Proverbs 3, verses 3 and 4. Today will be a seated workout. So Proverbs 3, 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name with, uh, sorry, and a good name in the sight of God and men. Let love and faithfulness never, never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. So Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to work out together with family and friends, Father God. I just pray, Lord, you bless this workout and make it an, an amazing um, fitness builder. And I pray, Father, that we'd be strengthened in our faith. I pray, Lord, that all of us would read Proverbs 3 today. And I pray, Father God, that you would help us, Lord. Um, let, Lord, you know, make it so that love and faithfulness never leave us, Lord. Bind them around our necks, Lord. Write them on the tablets of our hearts, Lord. Then, Lord, I know because, because those things are so, we will win favor and a good name in, this, in your sight, Lord, and in, man's, in the sight of man as well, Lord. And I just pray, Father, for that divine favor and that divine, um, divine opportunities to share the love of Jesus with so many people, with every person, that many people that we've not even been able to, Lord. I pray, Lord, you'd open those doors because you're preparing those hearts to receive Jesus because time is short and you're coming so soon and I don't want anyone left behind. You are coming for your bride. The days are getting darker and you said that in these days, Father, um, you said exactly what it would look like right before you returned and that's the, the days that we're living in, this generation. So I just pray, Lord, we'd all live ready to meet you, Father, and that we would all receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior and thus be saved, Father. We ask these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Be with us on our workout. Help it strengthen our body and lead and guide this workout. Let it be whatever the people need, whatever I need, Lord, in Jesus' name. And most of all, may we glorify you in everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Okay, so we're going to start with a lighter weight. All right, why don't we start? I have three sizes. I have ones twos and fours. Um, you can use heavier too, um, but I'm just going to do some little bicep curls like the hammer curl. And we will, let's do opposite arm, opposite leg. So up, yes. I think I'll take off my jacket too. Come on. Okay, so we're sitting nice and tall. I brought my stool in. That's what I've got for a chair for right now, but it'll work. I'm fine with that. I was trying to think of what can I fit through the door. <laughs> so we're doing a hammer curl, which is elbows by our side, and we're just bringing the weight up to our shoulder, just like this, just to the shoulder. Notice that the, the arm up here is not moving. It's just the arm is stuck here, and we're raising it and we're lowering it, okay? Good. Up and down, up and down, go slow and down. All right, and we are gonna add that opposite leg in in just a moment. All right, we're gonna just make this a short workout. This will be a, just a short upper body just because the, um, I'm not sure how much time I have left on. Good. All right, so let's go up. Oh, I'm doing, oh, hold on, let's do that again. Okay, up, up, so opposites. So we're working our lower core when we're lifting the leg. All right, now, as we get going, if you want to go to a heavier weight or if you already have the weight that you want, stay with that. In a moment, I'm going to add that extra weight. But I guess I'll wait for a moment because I'm gonna do some lateral 
lateral raises and you don't need a heavy weight with that. Good. Now let's go here and lower down. So the elbows are at a 90 degree and the hands are not in. So we're not bringing the arms in, we're bringing them straight out from our waist right here and just raising. The elbows will end right below the shoulder. So if you go up higher like that, that can bother the shoulder joint. So you don't wanna do that. We're just going right here. So keep going. I'm gonna stay with the lighter weight for these. And then I will switch when we get back into the biceps. All right, so we're just gonna do a few more of these. And senior tune-up is really designed just for anyone that does not wanna get down on a mat or that can't get down on a mat but still wants to work out. You can do these workouts seated or you can do them standing. Today's is just gonna be seated because I haven't had a seated workout for a while. Um, and I, I want people to know that they can, um, okay, so what we're gonna do is just do a tricep, so we're not coming all the way forward. We're gonna do a tricep kickback. So we're just keeping the arms behind us and pressing. The only reason this, this thing won't work very well is it's a little wider than what I would want it to be, but it'll be all right. So from the side, we are here, just doing a little mini tricep right here, just like that. No kitty kitty. I've got kitties that want to come in, but I made this room my studio and I'm kind of keeping it in a pet free zone because it just works out better that way. Even though I would love to have them in here, it just can be uh, good. Four, three, two, and one. Lifting those elbows. Okay, the arm, this arm, my, this arm here is already feeling it so so we'll give it a break here and we'll just go into the other side just lifting so all we're doing is raising that elbow you're gonna feel this a lot and if you're not feeling it then add a little more weight <laughs> or do the repetitions with me or you're fit and you're ready for an additional challenge so do my Pilates challenge videos um, but these are these ones no matter what just because the amount of repetitions we're doing right now you should be feeling this um, regardless the weight it's just the motion good and release it all right now we're gonna go up up press and down good we'll do a few of these up open up press up no clunking the weights together bring them right back down so that you look like uh, your foot your head is a football between the goalposts the arms are not in they're straight up and then down and down Good. Just a few more of these. Okay, if your body tells you you're done, it's okay to take a break because if you're not used to these, any little bit of weight over the head too, or even just raising your arms above your head will elevate your heart rate. And you're sitting down, you're actually in a relaxed position, but it's pretty crazy how that works. Good, and the upper body, it doesn't take that much. We have little shoulders and they're not designed for huge amounts of weights. I used to list, lift, and list, I'm sorry, lift heavy, heavy weights, but um, not anymore. I'm doing peanuts right now, but that's okay. Um, different times of your life. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a heavier weight. So these are four pounds. Back to those biceps, just because I wanted to finish this. Instead of doing hammer curls where the weight is like this, we are going to turn your hands here. So we are going to go just, we'll just finish actually, I'm not sure how much time I have on this little memory card. So I think we'll start with that exercise and we're gonna end with that, ex ex that exercise. And I'm going to call this one upper body burn because it's just going to be, let's go here. Pulse it for five, four, Three, two, one, squeeze your belly button up and in. Five, four, three, two, 
One, all the way up and down, good. Five, four, three. Remember that the elbow is right at your side. Five, and down, five, four, three. So you get a little bit of core work too. Two, and one, good. Let's go higher and lower, touch. Higher, touch the toe down. Higher, touch the foot down, higher. Last one. Good. Touch. Touch. Good. One more. Good. Now we'll hammer and out. Now we'll bring the elbows right into the sides. We'll finish this with 10, nine. And we'll just go nice and slow. And this workout is gonna be extra short or it might end up being right on time because I don't have my clock up there, it's not working. It just died on me, I think. It must have gotten left on even though I thought I turned it off last time. Obviously, it didn't power down, so <laughs> the batteries are like, forget you, I am going down. Power down, so I forgot to charge it again. But anyway, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. We'll go, little tiny pulses right here. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that every time I upload a new one, you get it. Good, good, now we'll go five. Four. I know, I just wanna keep going. Rats. If I wasn't, I don't want this to get cut off because I want to be able to have a complete video. Anyway, good. Up. Let's just lift back out. Good. Elbows. Lift out. Good. Elbows up. Lift out and back. Elbows up, out and back, two more. Elbows up, out and back. Now let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift. Two, three, four, and five, and one here. Bringing the elbows together. So what we're doing here is just pressing in. So using the scapular muscles, the muscles right between the shoulder blades. Don't clink the weights together though. So we're not going boing, boing. We're just bringing them close together. Good. So let's do 20 and then we will call it good. So this is the only exercise not seated, but let's go 10, nine, eight, seven. That way we hit the back a little bit or we can do a quick back one. All right, I talked myself into it. Let's do a quick back one. Um, you can do this still from your set chair by leaning forward but I'm going to go down, rise. Let's do a little row. So we're gonna go knee to the belly, to the knee and rise. So don't look up at the video when you're doing this because that shuts your whole back down. Let's do a few more. And I will say, well done, well done, well done. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Let's do the last one. Let's kick back for eight, seven, six, five. Remember that your ears are in alignment with your shoulders. You're not looking up, you're looking down softly at the floor. Five, not like this. This is really that me, what I'm doing right now. No, no, no. Head in alignment. So this is what you're really doing. This is what you should be doing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you are done. So I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the week. And our scripture real quick is Proverbs 3, 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Um, ne yeah, bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart, then you will with win favor and a good name in the sight of God and men. All right, God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.